All right, EJ1 Nick here coming at you live at five, minus the mustache. <laughs> Shaved it off a while back. So, got a lot of questions asking about the Pontiac, and uh, she's still alive and kicking. So, since my last video, we, we did get it running. Um, three of the tires did not hold air. So we got some fresh tires on here. I went with the uh, 225 6015s up front. And then in the rears, we got a little bit beefier 275 60 15. Fits good up in there. Clears just fine, no rubbing or nothing. Fills out the wheel well pretty good. Aside from that, we got a fresh Optima battery. Yes, it is relocated to the trunk. And it sits there. Aside from that, we did all the fluids, oil, transmission, all that good stuff. So most of the lights work. I got a couple wiring stuff I need to do, but it is fully street legal now. Um, what's crazy is all we did was a new alternator, new battery, fresh spark plugs, fresh gas, little tune on the carburetor, that Demon 750 carb, and she fired up, man. She fired up. So... Aside from that, it's still alive, still a work in progress. Don't mind the dogs. I don't know when these neighbors got these yelping freaking dogs, but. I'll give y'all a peek of the interior as well. This is pretty much as it sat uh, when my uncle parked it in 2002. There was a lot of stuff in here. He was kind of using it as storage. And uh, you can tell the headliner got ripped out. Back seats are out. They got left out um, somehow in the weather. They were covered up for a while. So they're kind of in a little bit worse shape but the front seats aren't bad. I just bought this little centerpiece deal with cup holders from a hot router. Super cool guy. He's got a big body galaxy all blacked out. Here's a little bit of the back. So got the fire extinguisher back there and stuff. There's some speakers back there too. Kind of a big um, Polk Audio fan when uh, they first came out. Yeah, had a lot of cleaning up to do. Interior and exterior. A whole bunch of leaves and all kinds of stuff that was in this thing. But everything shuts good. If you guys noticed in the first video I made of this thing, the passenger side right side tail light was bashed in from some hail well you no longer see that and that is because i sourced from a local junkyard in texas some tail lights i just got that right one for now i'm gonna go back and get an actual set this left one has been on here since i don't know when uh got the license plate got the antique plate on there course another thing is the gas tank 
that'll be next on the list. It should be all good. I kind of checked it out briefly. Doesn't look like it has any uh, holes in it or anything like that. Now, one big surprise that really got me was taking it out for its first drive just around the neighborhood. It drove like a champ. Took it out a couple more times just on some local roads, you know, 30 to 50 mile an hour. And it still drives so damn good. Power steering is there. Brakes are there. I'm gonna do the uh, master, master cylinder and such. But everything's there, man. And it does have the uh, front caliper, disc brake, rotors in the front, drums in the rear. Everything sounds and feels super solid. I was obviously expecting the worst when I got into this project, but it still drives like a champ, man. You can't, you can't beat these old cars, these old classics, man. So yeah, that's a quick update for you guys. I appreciate all the support and the feedback from you guys. I will try and stay updated with this thing as much as I can as we go along. If y'all are on social media, follow me at EJ1 underscore Nick. That's EJ1 underscore Nick. We're also doing a bunch of stuff with Static Whips. That is my brand as well. We'll have some more merch out and stuff like that here soon. Y'all have a killer day.